Netflix has launched its latest crime movie, Killer Sally, which is gaining a lot of attention. Know about Sally McNeil, her children and where is she now? The husband, a fellow bodybuilder, kills Sally McNeil in the movie. You can find all the information here. In the newest crime film available on Netflix, Killer Sally, professional bodybuilder Sally McNeil is shown as having murdered her husband and fellow bodybuilder Ray McNeil on Valentine's Day in 1995. Who are Sally McNeil children John and Shantina and where is she now today in 2022? Interviews with friends, family and Sally McNeil herself chart a bodybuilding couple's rocky marriage and its shocking end in a Valentine's Day murder. While her two children were inside the house, Sally, also known as Killer Sally, murdered her husband twice with a shotgun. After the incident, Sally called the police and said she had acted in self-defense and that her husband had been abusive. But despite claims that Ray had been abused, McNeil was found guilty of murder and given a 19-year to a life sentence. Prior to her release in 2020, she spent 25 years in a California women's prison. The three-part series highlights Sally's two children, John from a previous marriage and Shantina, whom she had with Ray, and is based on interviews with the modern-day Sally. It looks at the abuse she experienced before the murder as well as McNeil's career as a bodybuilder. John and Shantina, two of Sally's kids, were 9 and 11 years old respectively when Ray was murdered. They had a difficult upbringing in Oceanside, California. The family had more money as Sally's bodybuilding career flourished, but this led to an uneasy home environment. Men would pay $300 for private wrestling matches with Sally when she appeared in wrestling fetish videos. Shantina called the men weird and embarrassing, but Sally disputed that any wanted sex from her. Both of Sally's children support their mother's allegations that Ray was abusive in the documentary. John claimed that Ray's violence had also injured him. They claimed that Ray had fractured Sally's nose. What happened to John and Shantine? Sally's kids were taken to a children's home after the murder. They then relocated to eastern USA, 3,000 miles from the California prison where Sally was being incarcerated, to live with their grandparents. John served in the U.S. military for five tours in Afghanistan, while Shantina served for two tours each in Iraq and Afghanistan. Later, John developed PTSD and a drug addiction for which he sought treatment. In addition, Shantina experienced PTSD, which she attributes to her military service and an abusive relationship. Shantina ended the abusive relationship and is now raising her baby alone. The two of Sally's children now reside nearby. John ceased communicating with Sally when she was incarcerated, but they are reportedly back in touch frequently again. The prosecutor Dan Goldstein is a scumbag. I personally have never been involved in domestic violence or a domestic abuse situation. But I know for a fact that Sally McNeil's children are not lying. Her dead husband even abused those poor kids. Listening to her children in the interrogation room broke my heart. Also read, the Dragon Prince season 4 release date, time, total episodes count list and story plot, 